What's going on guys? Welcome back to War Room Jiu Jitsu. And today in our class recap, we are covering uh, three variations of the guillotine. We've been working on our open guard series all month and we did some turtles and transitions back in. And so now we're gonna work on our guillotine. So one of them we just covered the other day, so we're gonna cover it very, very quickly. But we're gonna talk about the difference between the arm in, which is what most people consider the traditional guillotine, the arm across guillotine, and uh, a, a shallow high wrist style guillotine as well, okay? So a lot of times we like to start setting people up by getting our lace in and start great binding the legs. It allows me to start breaking his posture now so I can stretch him out and walk my shoulders up and stretch him out, okay? This is gonna make it very, very easy for me to sit up, get my shoulder really, really high over his head so I can get a straight my arm out and get a really deep rope swing all the way around the neck. Getting that deep rope swing and getting this elbow pit over the jugular is one of the biggest keys of getting good guillotines and just strangles in general. From here, I'm gonna catch the blade of my hand up under this palm right here. I'm gonna catch it and pull it up, okay? I can also palm down if I choose. I leave that up to you guys. Some people have different uh, theories on which is better. Personally, for this one, I grab the blade so I can pull it in tight. From here, I'm not gonna lean back like a lot of people think you should do. I'm actually gonna scoop my butt in to him, which forces his head down and gets it really tight already. Wrap my legs around and then crunch into his neck for a really, really tight guillotine. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Sorry. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about, uh, we just did, so we're gonna cover it really, really quickly. We hit this one from an arm drag to the arm across guillotine. In my opinion, this is the strongest guillotine from guard. However, it's a little bit harder to set up than the traditional arm in. So we're gonna push the hand, pull the elbow across to catch him here. I'm gonna sit up by grabbing the lat to get really high. Wrap my arm around like a rope, just like I did last time. I'm gonna S grip my hand here, choking side palm down, and I'm gonna pull it across to pull this tight. From here, once again, I'm gonna lean back, wrap my legs around, and get a really tight finish on that one. And then last but not least, uh, say we're trying to break him down and we're trying to sit up and he's keeping his arms wide but we just can't get in there. So I'm actually gonna be tricky. I'm actually gonna catch an underhook on here and use that to pull myself up to get high. Wrap my arm. Make sure that my shoulder covers the whole back of his neck and my shoulder is all the way down into, in between his uh, shoulder blades. Reach all the way around, get the rope all the way across once again. Once again, we're going to create the blade. Now this time, this blade is going to slide up my chest to here, and I'm gonna drive my elbow all the way up under, pointed to the floor. This is gonna pull my hand up. There's multiple variations of this, but I actually, I, I tend to keep it very simple. I literally just grab my fingers and use that to pull my hand up for a tight high-risk guillotine. And that's our recap for today.